Now, let's introduce 242 series motion controller. This is a 242D motion controller. D represents double plug-in terminal. 242 series grade and serial number are here. Black terminal is for motor connection. Double plug-in terminal is terminal for power and communication. This is 242 integrated motor. The code number of motion controller. The serial number. The connector. It is already connected with motor internally. The power source and the control terminal. Middle part is internal encoder. This is a 242T motion controller. T represents green screw terminal. To connecting 242 series we need 242 motion controller, 2502 gateway, leader cable, and some connection cable. Now let's connect 242 series products step by step. First, the wiring scheme for network operation. Here we have a camera line with a branch at each node. Please note, 242 is not a load star connection, which means it's not a load to connect all CAN nodes to one branch. Star connection will interfere CAN network communication. Also, CAN mainline need to be standard CAN signal cable. PE-type plug can be plugged in directly. T-type plug need to be screwed in. Connect a negative electrode to port 2. Can high-level line and low-level line are connected to port 3 and port 4 respectively? Now we have three motors on CAN network. Please note, we need to add 120 ohms resistance at the CAN edge and CAN L each. After finishing connecting, let's measure the resistance value of CAN main line. Switch the multimeter to ohm. Connect a red black pan of multimeter to white blue end. We will see the resistance is close to 60 ohm, which is standard for Kamen line. Next, connect the head of Kamen line to gateway. When end of the serial line is connected to gateway and the USB end is connected to computer, 
Last, connect the power source. Positive electrode is with red line. Negative electrode is with black line. Up to now, we have accomplished the connection of 242 and CAN network. After connecting 242 series with CAN network, double click to open step ever for step motor control. 2502 gateway will be found from here. Connect to the gateway. Gateway serial baud rate is showed. Can beach rate is also listed. Now step ever will search all sites and register all of them. Number 789 motion controller will be found on CAN network. They are listed here. Edit each site individually. Select a specific site. Change site number 9 to number 6. Can bit rate can be edited here. One edit can bit rate. It actually changes all nodes. All three models are set to 500k. Let's go through some examples of motor motion control. First, let's set speed to 5000. Click Enable. Motor number 6 is running. Its real-time status can also be checked from here. It can be stopped and displaced. Click button. Displacement status can be cleared and will start from zero when restart. Amount of displacement can also be set. Let's input displacement of 10,000. Input speed here. Now the motor is moving and it will stop after 10,000 displacement. Manage motor breakdown setting. Current, standby current and boot enable time can all be set. Motor breakdown can be set to the whole, half, 4, 8, 16 subdivision. Current setting is based on model type. 2, 4, 8 refer to maximum current of 2 amp, 4 amp and 8 amp. Set standby current and self lose current when the motor is not running. Set power up time from here. Other than control of individual node, all nodes are controlled simultaneously. For overall control setting, first switch all nodes to offline. Then set each node separately and apply their settings. Under global state, input speed. All motors are running under the same speed at the same time. Similarly, by setting displacement, all three models will stop after 10,000 displacement. Other than global control, Step Ever also supports coded instructions. Select number 6, send speed instruction. It starts running. Settings for power up and other controls are in this area. Set the motor to be unlocked only after power on again. When blocking emergency stop, offline happened, models can still 